Hey folks, Total Sales Solutions here in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell mostly diesel trucks, but we'll sell a little bit of everything, honestly. Today we have one of those that falls under a little bit of everything. This is a 57 Plymouth Belvedere two-door hardtop. It's one of those you, you just can't hardly find anymore. Most of them are in the junkyard, they're crushed, or somebody's already painted it red and restored it and wants fifty thousand dollars or more but this car has managed to stay original and honestly when I bought it that was my plan paint it red get a late model Hemi drivetrain stick in it and and have me a Christine but I've since acquired three more and I just this car the patina on this car is so nice I hate to paint over it, honestly. I mean, you see, there's guys that spend thousands of dollars to pay some goober to put some fotina on it that doesn't look near as good as this actual patina. Uh, and I've done a lot of work on this car since I bought it, too. We'll show you under the hood first. Missing a few letters, but uh, no big deal. You can actually get just about everything for these nowadays. It's got a brand new carburetor. Now the air cleaner doesn't, it's just sitting on the carburetor. Uh, probably needs a different air cleaner. That's a later model carburetor. But I still have the original if you want to rebuild it. Um, the battery is not included. I pulled that out of a diesel truck just to get it crank. You can see it still has the factory washer bag, generator. The radiator's been redone. Uh, the fuel, the water pump's been replaced. It's got a new fuel pump on it. Um, all that's been done. So, um, even has the factory auto light horns and stuff on it. Got a little bit of the usual rust right on top, top of the one fender and a few little spots on the bottom. Nothing major. Um, the reason I say that is because I've done and I've spent lots of money on the floorboards in the trunk. It's got a whole new trunk. All these floorboards have been redone. I'll have in the pictures on the listing uh, some pictures without the, this front seat in it just so you can see how nice they are. They're not perfect. Um, you know, they're, they're patched, they're coated, they're looking good. Uh, this is not, of course, the factory front seat that came with it. It's just something we put in here to drive it, but you can see it's got all the stuff for the door panel here. Push button, um, transmission, 120 on the speedometer, all that good stuff. Most of the headliner's still there. Now that is the factory rear seat. It's a little dirty. We didn't wash it off or anything, but it's but it's all there. Factory sill plates are there. The guy I got it from they just put a brand new set of tires on it, so they still got the blue on them. See a few little holes on the bottom of the quarter. Nothing unusual. Nothing out of line for 57 Plymouth, believe that. Uh, you can see the trunk, perfect. Perfect trunk. It's all new. It has a brand new gas tank under it. Um, I've put quite a bit into getting this car to run. Now one thing that did happen when it was at the body shop getting the trunk and the floors fixed they lost the passenger tail light and he promised he'd replace it and he ordered one and he ordered apparently the wrong one so uh, but that's what I got to deal with. It's just what it is. You can see down the other side pretty straight, not too bad like I said a few little holes here and there nothing serious the only other bad part is when it was at the body shop, this quarter panel was next to a bush. So it's got this black crap on it that will wipe off with a little elbow grease, but I didn't want to take a chance on wiping through the paint. So, you know, you just need to get it, take your time, and it'll come off if, if you're wanting to save the patina. Um, look inside here. I put the V on the front just because I thought it looked cool, but I've got, there's the original grill badge. It'll go with it. Um, the only other thing I can really nitpick on this car, this door latch is out of whack. It doesn't latch. You have to 
tie the door shut, but we haven't fiddled with it. It probably just needs to be lubricated and adjusted, but um, anyway, see it's got all the trim on it. This trim is real expensive to find. If you ever go to looking for sport tone trim, it's high dollar. Now it doesn't have the kick up in the back like a Fury or the, the higher end, but you can take this trim, you can buy the elbow, they reproduce it, point it up, get the elbow, good to go. Got the dual sport mirrors. The windshield's in great shape. It's got a few little age bubbles around the ends, but and they're all gonna do that. It's not cracked though, surprisingly. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions about this car, call me. If you want to make an offer, call me. You want to know what it takes to buy it. Uh, I can get good deals on shipping. So if you need a quote on shipping, call me, 601-376-9869. Or shoot me a text with your zip code, and I'll get you a good ballpark figure on, um, on shipping. Now, this car does run and drive. However... It has not been on the road in a long time, so it's not going to drive home. Let me just be real clear. It will not drive. It'll drive around here. It'll drive up on your trailer. Uh, the brakes work. They're not, they need some adjustment, um, but they do work. The, um, like I said, carburetor, fuel pump, tank, all that's new. Um, it smokes a little. But, you know, that's common. When a car's been sitting, the piston rings get stuck, and then they let oil get by. But nine times out of ten, if you drive it, they'll free up and they'll be fine. But, you know, no promises, but they should with just some, some use. You know, change the oil, drive it around some, up and down your street or whatever. Um, I'm going to pause for a second. We're going to crank it up just to let you hear it run. And, uh... Just take a little, take it right down the street. And uh, but anyway, beyond that though, if you have any questions, give me a call, 601-376-9869. Thanks. Okay, we just cranked it. You can hear how smooth it runs. Not making any weird noises. You can see just a little smoke. Not you know horrible, but just it does have a little bit of smoke. Um, really, just needs to be drove. But uh. You can head on, put it in gear, drop the parking brake. Exhaust is tight. You can see that little haze, but overall, man, just a, a nice Plymouth that does run. Give me a call, it can be yours.